Here in Washington, the number of missed second doses adds up to more than 135,000 people as of April 6th. Jennifer Lee takes a closer look tonight at why some people are not in a rush to get shot number two. Came here to Bar Bartels to pick up some Advil just to try to help with the, uh, the headache a little bit. It's not surprising to feel a little crummy after the second dose. So I woke up kind of feeling almost like I was hungover. Um, just kind of like a body ache, kind of had uh, just an overall tired feeling. Or to need some Tylenol or Advil to help ease the symptoms. And I just knew that it's going to be a rough couple of days after getting vaccinated, but it's just something that you got to sacrifice, I think, you know, just for the sake of my health and the sake of everybody else's health. But both of these guys couldn't hide their reaction after learning over 135,000 people in Washington state are overdue for their second dose. That's amazing. I mean, it's almost baffling to me. We're lucky enough to be to have access to this, and so we should definitely take advantage. So it is silly to me um, not seeing people be a little bit more proactive. It's extremely surprising uh, to me that people are not going through with getting the second dose. It affects their the chance of actually getting sick and then especially with all the other variants popping up. As of early April, state health officials say about 14% of people in both King and Snohomish counties have missed out on their second dose. And if we go over to the South Sound in Pierce County, about one in five people, 20% of people have missed their second appointment. Vaccine hunters who connect people in Western Washington with open appointments tell Q13 News most people were willing to go to extreme lengths, even drive to the other side of the state to get their first dose, but they've noticed more people are looking for convenience when booking a second dose appointment. They also believe vaccine supply has been a challenge in many counties. State health officials encourage people to get their second shot as soon as they are due and that the number of people missing their second dose needs to stay as low as possible to defeat the pandemic. It's just a little sacrifice I had to make and I hope that other people will make that too. It's really not that big of a deal. Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. The CDC recommends you get your second shot as close to the recommended three-week or four-week interval. If necessary, you can receive your second dose up to six weeks after your first shot. The State Department of Health says updated numbers on missed second doses will be available later this week.